Welcome to Data Center Energy Efficiency Opportunities, What Managers Should Know, brought to you by US EPA's Energy Star Program. I'm Bob Wong with the Cadmus Group, and I'll be presenting the fifth and final part, free resources and tips for getting started. For additional details on energy saving opportunities we discussed during these presentations, visit our website at www.energystar.gov forward slash low carbon IT. At the site, we provide non-technical descriptions of all data center energy efficiency opportunities. In addition, we provide impartial answers to practical implementation questions, such as, how do you do it? How much does it cost? How much could you save? What are the risks? And where can I find more information? As we mentioned in the eBay examples, utilities are often willing to help pay for energy savings measures in data centers. The table on this slide shows over 20 different utilities and the incentives offered for a variety of measures applicable to data centers. Some of the incentives are simple prescriptive measures, indicated by a P, where you are offered a set amount of money for a measure. For example, oftentimes a utility will offer a certain amount of money per retired server in a virtualization effort. However, most incentives are custom incentives, meaning that they may require multiple numerous visits by the utility to verify your documented savings. So the upshot of this slide is that you should check with your local utility before taking any energy efficiency action in your data center. Please note that utilities must get involved before you initiate the measure so they can measure energy use before and after implementation to document savings. If you are interested in good press or PR for being energy efficient, note that you can actually earn an Energy Star rating for your data center. The Energy Star rating essentially compares your data center through the Energy Star Benchmarking Tool Portfolio Manager to a nationwide database of similar data centers and rewards those in the top 25% in terms of energy efficiency with the Energy Star designation. The tool is based on the metric called Power Usage Effectiveness, or PUE, which we looked at earlier in this presentation. PUE, which veers towards 1 as the data center gets more efficient, is the total facility source energy divided by the IT source energy. And even if you aren't interested in earning the Energy Star designation for your data center, it's still useful for benchmarking your facility. To use the tool, you only need to enter into the model your overall energy use and your IT energy use over 12 months. Pictured here is the very first Energy Star designated data center built and operated by NetApp in Research Triangle Park, North Carolina. Another way to receive public recognition for your energy efficiency efforts is through the Energy Star Low Carbon IT Champion PSA campaign. We produce full page print PSAs at our cost and make them available to a number of publications. All three of our print PSAs for data centers have been featured on the back cover of Data Center Journal as well as some other prominent technical trade publications. Pictured on this slide are the three PSAs and they include the technical staff of Target, BNY Mellon, and Raging Wire. If you're interested in being featured, please contact us. Here's what we'd like to see you do with the information we shared with you today. Number one, take a walk through your data center with one of your colleagues in IT and have a conversation with him or her about potential savings opportunities you heard about during our presentations. If you hear technical concerns or questions, simply say, you might be right, let's ask an expert. Then you can contact us to schedule a free conference call with one of our data center experts. One of your preliminary goals should be to estimate the project return on investment. 
and this estimation should emphasize the increased reliability and redundancy as a direct result of some of the energy efficiency measures you're looking at. Also, don't forget about utility incentive programs. Those incentives should be incorporated into your return on investment calculation as well. And finally, you should be building a coalition for change. In most of the successful data center energy efficiency measure efforts we've seen in the past, large groups of people have all been involved in the effort. So share the opportunity with your friends in finance and facilities in addition to the IT group for a successful program. So this concludes part five of our presentation, Data Center Energy Efficiency Opportunities, What Managers Should Know. Thank you for attending. Um, once again, my name is Bob Wong. I'm with the Cadmus Group. Please feel free to contact me if you have any further questions. My contact information is listed on this slide. In addition, if you want to know what else Energy Star is doing in the green IT space, please go to our website at www.energystar.gov forward slash low carbon IT. Once again, thanks for attending these presentations.